What's up, bro? What a do 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 crypto muscle. The fake lasers. The gimmicks. Oh yes, crypto muscle is full of gimmicks. And the Jamaican air rays. Oh yeah. Coming to you with another video. And all I gotta say is I'm the most polarized and the most electrifying YouTuber there is today. Because I am. No one else brings it to you like I do. Just saying. Coming to you with another video. So, a lot of stuff been going on these last couple days, all right? And I've been so tied up, super busy, that I, I haven't been able to to really stay on top of some of these things like I really want to be. Because, you know, the real life crypto muscle, all right, was so busy these last couple days. I mean, it's just crazy. If if you know what it's like to be in, in my world, you know. And so, anyhow, uh, I do my best to try to keep you guys up to date and informed on everything that comes. Alright. And um, the latest thing that's going on in the, I don't know if you want to call it, well, it is kind of the crypto douching series that I do. I do. But at the same time, um, some of these things could be a holding pattern, or it could just be a ploy to draw it out longer. Um, only time can tell, right? And we're going to find out as uh, the days go on and everything. But currently, all right, Mido Finance is the latest and the victim of being, uh, well, gone now <laughs> that's what it is uh everybody says now that they're gone so let's just see here if they're truly gone they say that you could just you go to their youtube and whatever like that they're all gone let's see if that's true all right hold on hold on, hold on. let me go over here i don't know they're saying that all the stuff is gone all the social media stuff's gone uh, i don't have facebook can't do that either. <laughs> I'm just going one by one. It's just funny that uh, I can't do anything. It says one by one. Um, let's see here. When was this? May 11th. Okay. So the new official group to this. Look at this. See how they're trying to pull you in. Uh, please do not make any transaction deposit outside the affiliate site of cryptomax.biz so they're already doing that that scheme where they say oh you know come on over to to cryptomax.biz and we'll help you recover those funds right that's always the the uh what do you call that um what's this here uh let's see yeah so they're trying to this is the official affiliate site, you know, come on over to CryptoMax.biz, we'll help you fix that shit, right, that, that whole, there it is, that's the phrase I'm looking for, the bait and switch, all right, so, yeah, Mido, Mido is done, it's just, hey, that was the talk uh, around in Crypto Town, that, you know, Mido is over, all right, so it doesn't matter what you do, you're waiting for your withdrawal, all that stuff is done, all right, but it, it was a nice long run, though, when you think about it, because this is May and August. Uh, let's see, I was in this thing since, yeah, September of uh, last year. So it was a good run, but it's okay though. You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, if the market hasn't been like what has been happening, you know, these last few days have been crazy, right? In terms of being super bearish and, and all this dumping stuff going on, that um, yeah, that's why it's over for Mido, right? And then there's a, there's a couple others that's either on life support or just done too. So the latest, all right, just happened this morning. I just watched it happen. All right, this at the time of this video right now. Uh, I'm doing this video, it's probably about two hours ago. I watched it all and happened in the Telegram as I was driving and I was reading. And all of a sudden, questions were being asked. And next thing you know, the Telegram group just got closed. And it's like, all right, well, 
And that's Biddy.pro, yes. The new hourly. All right. Let me see here. Yeah, the new hourly uh, just closed up at the time of the video, like I said, two hours ago from the time of this video. And it only lasted two days. And my understanding is twofold, right? Twofold is the the dump in the crypto market, right? Big time dumps going on. Let's check out the market pricing. Anyway, I don't even know what the prices are looking like. Let me look at this here. Let me update this here. Let's see what we're looking at. I heard it dipped to 29. Now it's back up to 31. And oh man, when I was driving, they said that Ethereum took 11% dump. Um, when I was looking at my phone, I was like, holy shit. 11%, but it must have recovered. That was probably an, an older update. Look at these. <laughs> Terra and uh, Terra USD. Man, whew. I got a video on that one um, as well. So that's going to be uh, interesting. But yeah, so Biddy.pro. Yeah, so twofold, right? Dumping the market, obviously. And then plus, I guess it was said that they felt like there could have been more interest into this uh, than how many users have shown up in the last two days and the amount of money that came in the last two days. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. To me, it's, it looks good to me, but I don't know what the expectations are from these guys, but that's what it appeared to sound like on the explanation as to why these things were shut down. All right. So the end of Biddy.pro, the end of Mido, and now comes Atiora. Some people ask me, hey, do an Atiora update because they know what's going on, right? So Atiora has been uh, having a little bit of issues with withdrawals. Some people say it may be over. Some people say maybe not. That you can be the judge for yourself. But for me personally, I've removed my links <laughs> anyways. Uh, I, I'm I've, I'm a, 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 I'm making it like it's done. All right, that's how my perception of it is. But based on what you read, who knows what they're saying here? That's the Mido. Let me go to Atiora, and I'll tell you what they're saying. All right, you can be the judge for yourself, but I don't know. Uh, as always, after the weekend, we had a lot of requests for withdrawals. And we already failed to pay them, but our payment aggregator cre again created a queue for withdrawals. Um, yeah, so a lot of people said that their status is complete, but it wasn't really complete. So it, it just didn't happen. And they said that we know that delay payments are an inconvenience, blah, blah, blah. We're looking for ways to fix it. So that was uh, two days ago, yesterday. Uh, the finance department says that in the next few days there will be delays in processing withdrawal payments. It's due to several factors and all of them are outside the influence of the company. In particular due to the fact that there is now an exchange rate decline in main coins and tokens like Bitcoin and all which is true. Right? We've been knowing what's been going on in the market. It's kind of it's being very bearish right? So uh, as a result number of transactions has jumped because people want to take their money out now right? And so it said that we managed to solve the problem and systemize all requests, but it'll take time. So they're talking about uh, they're confident they'll be able to resolve this thing. And then later on that night, day, right? Let's see, that was morning. And that's later on in the morning. Oh, they talked about this uh, proposal too here of um, they found a solution to payment delays, right? It said that. What they're going to do is they have this new, uh, I don't know if it's like a platform. I guess it's like a platform. I don't know if it's a new plan or platform. Let's see. Um, it'll take two days to implement it. That means, uh, all right, hold on, let me just read through it. The financial aggregator provides interest-free conditions for the withdrawal of funds. Our technical team is already working with finance staff to create this payment gateway for withdrawals. So this means that the withdrawal of funds for all requests will be carried out on Friday the 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Uh, we have to warn you that since the launch of this financial gateway, withdrawal fees at 1.5% will be charged. This means that 
blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, as compensation for the lost time, and given the rather promising situation in cryptocurrency markets, our analysts have developed an additional investment plan, Bitcoin Rise. So they developed a new plan. Okay, it's not a platform, it's a plan. I guess within Atiora. Uh, Bitcoin Rise is a short-term investment with a profit of 8%. Within seven working days, and return of the deposit body at the end of the term. This is an intermediate plan uh, that you can invest in over the next three days, including Friday. All right. It says it's not compulsory. I mean, you don't have to do this. You can open other deposits. Uh, we hope that uh, each of you would choose the right way of investing yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have already completed 30% of the necessary work to create our own payment gateway for withdrawing funds. This turned out to be more difficult than we thought. Uh, already afternoon Friday, we will start making withdrawals to our partners one by one. So, you can look at it two ways, all right? One, <laughs> don't go into any more plans, all right? Don't go in. Don't. Do not <laughs> go into any other plans. Point of it is... We want to see if withdrawals are working. Do the withdrawals. All right. That's the only way we can find out if this thing's going to work or not. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then we know the answer. All right. So do not put any more money into it. We want to see if withdrawals are working. Like I said, I've already pulled my links um, from it when I saw this stuff been going on on the news. I just haven't been able to come out with a quote unquote official update from the Crypto Muscle Network because no one else would talk about things like this out there in crypto land like I do. I'm just saying. And so, uh, yes, Atira may be over. And then uh, I did talk about earlier in the week, uh, well, just a couple of days ago, actually, <laughs> uh, Paymera. All right, they said that they're only going to do withdrawals on the 15th and 30th, and it could be just be for sustainability, but they're not having payment issues. They're trying to, I think they're trying to get ahead of it, if that's the case. So it brings me back to Atiora again. It was a great run. I was in this thing since August. All right, so I was in Mido since September. I'm, I was in this thing since August of last year. So great runs. I mean, I can't complain. I think I might have misstated when I said Mido since August. Mido's been since since September. All right, I might have mentioned that in the vi uh, earlier in the video. So all I gotta say is it was great while it lasted. You know, I mean, it lasted quite a while. I long, longer than I expected. You know, I I just thought, man, it, it looks like it would go for a year. So that's pretty cool. And you know what? I went in at Tiora the same day Money Tree, that piece of shit Tiwi Tree, all right, came out with. And his folded in beginning of December. And if you were in this thing the same day I went in this thing on, and uh, if you were in Tiwi Tree, you got, you got wrecked. Whereas here, when you think about it, I have five more months of uh, extra withdrawals. So think about that. All right, food for thought. So yeah, these are the latest things that's happening in the platforms, all right? But at the same time, I've been finding new ones as well that can handle this sort of stress and situation and looking for people to join and things like that. So one of them was uh, uh, Hack and Pool, all right? And I'll do an update on that one soon enough. I'm looking at uh, three other platforms right now, or actually four. I'm looking at four other platforms right now. So uh, we're going to see how those are looking like. But yeah, I'm looking, actually five, five of them. I'm looking at five right now. I'm just trying to catch up on everything. Because when I got to do extra stuff in the real life of Crypto Muscle, it, it really ties, it ties me up into... Now I'm falling behind in crypto, you know, and I'm trying to catch up on everything. Yeah, so I'm looking at five different uh, platforms right now. That's what it is. And maybe you never know. I might go into all five of them or maybe not. We'll see. 
So comment down below, links down below, and I'll see you in the next one.